everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back again to take another look at some figures toy company, Batman TV show figures. It's series three, and figures toy company seems like they've padded out the ranks a bit, so as not to bust out all the big guns right away. First up is, surprise, Batman, again. Oh, but this time he has a new face. Well, whoopee shit. Next up, of course, is Robin. He's got a removable mask. Well, that's awesome. Now, you might be asking why Batman doesn't have a removable mask. Well, remember when I said Figures Toy Company was going to hold back the big guns? Well, there you go. We get two more villains, and who will it be? One of the Catwomen? Or Mr. Freeze? Not yet. Who we do get is MeTV's number 12 Batman TV show villain, The Mad Hatter, played by David Wayne. The character actually dates back to 1948 in the comics and has shown up on the animated series as well. The figure looks great, but let's be honest, this figure isn't exactly flying off the shelves. And coming in at number 17 on MeTV's top Batman TV show villains, Shame, played by Cliff Robertson. Honestly, I think he should have ranked higher as he appears in a few great episodes and never disappoints as the Wild West gimmick bad guy. A takeoff on the popular motion picture at the time, Shane. Shame, to me at least, is one of the smartest villains in the series because instead of goofy horse shit, Shane uses his trusty six-shooter. Well, most of the time he does. Maybe I'm just a sucker for the Wild West thing. Anyway, the figure sports a great sculpt and outfit, as most of these have so far. I got all four of these figures, so let's take a look at Series 3 of Figures Toy Company Batman TV Show Figures. Alright, so here we have the Series 3 Batman figures all in the box this time. Um, by the time I started getting pretty much the rest of these, um, I had smartened up to the fact that you could get them in the box for $19.99 plus ship. Um, and it is a great, great deal. Although I do theorize that they do put the... Um, the, the ones of lesser quality, uh, the, the ones that, that don't come out as well as the others in the, uh, in the boxes and plastic bags, because you can't get them in a plastic bag too, um, but prices vary on those, and, and, and I, sometimes it's the same. So why shouldn't you just get the cardboard box, um, little display box? Because some people even like to just display them like this. I like to take them out, pose them, use their accessories and stuff like that. Let's take a look at the uh, Batman variant here. It's the angry variant. Batman gets a new face. Well, woohoo! Let the party begin. Um, not necessarily something that everybody's going to want to get. Um, if you did happen to miss the first one, um, not that you can't get them anymore, but if you if you missed the first one and, and you're thinking, you know what, I like the look of this angry one a little bit better. Um, it's the same fucking figure with a different head on it, a brand new sculpt for Batman, not too shabby, basically looks exactly the same. The box is a slightly different color than the one you're going to get for Batman in the cardboard box. So there's that. Uh, next up is, of course, is Robin with the removable mask. Where's Batman with the removable mask? Um, they're gonna save him um, for a later, uh, a later round of, of figures here. Um, and honestly, he, he looks kind of dumb um, with this removable mask on. I, I wish they could have come up with a better way to put this thing on his head, but there it is. It's a removable mask. Um, some people like this. Some people like me, not so much basically looks exactly the same as the other box just in a different color and of course says right there removable mask and then now we'll move on to actual new figures we have the mad hatter again not something that's gonna be a uh, must get for most people but we do have the little mad hatter insignia across the top 
and uh, a gr great photo on the back. And it does look like the actor who portrayed him. So not too shabby and, and you know, inside the box looks great. We'll find out what he is later on. And then on to Shame, um, which at least for me would be the must get for this series. Um, some people don't remember this this character. He was in a couple of episodes. Um, he based on the, uh, the movie Shane. Um, Shame is a bad guy cowboy one of the one of the villains of, of the batman series that i actually like because he's a uh, wild west theme and he comes with his two uh six guns and his uh, 10 gallon hat and uh fucking real cool looking on the back we see a photo of shame and a few pictures from the series but let's take a look at what these things look like outside the box all right so it's angry batman there he is with his angry face um this is the exact same uh, body and costume as the previous batman from series one i've got that right here um they're identical with the exception of the head um, not too shabby looking. You know what? It's it's a great looking figure. If you want the the one with the more expressive face on it, it's pretty cool. It's only another twenty bucks. Looks like the one with the uh, the angry face is a little darker than the OG. Um, but either way, both figures are pretty cool. Um, it, it all kind of comes down to is like, do you need to get everything? If you need to get every single goddamn figure, you got to get angry Batman. Urgh! Oh, Joker, I'm gonna get you. Um, or otherwise, um, you might as well just you know get one or the other, and that's not too shabby. Like you know what, I hate it when there's lines of figures, especially figures with one main character, with Batman. Batman is the character. That's the name of the fucking series, and then inevitably they will run out of the original character, and and then all you're left with is all the ancillary characters. And if you happen to come in a little late, you're out of luck. Um, if you want to get the main guy and pretty much if anybody was only ever going to get one figure, they were going to get Batman. Um, so you got to make sure there's, there's plenty of them to go around. You can run out of almost everybody else. Um, but Batman, we got to keep in stock and this isn't so bad. Um, well, my one gripe with the same thing as my gripe with all these other fucking figures, toy company figures is the goddamn body. Um, these bodies while okay, while pretty sturdy, while, you know, fairly decent, um, they still are a banded body, a, not a bandless body, a banded body, a body with little rubber bands inside of it holding it together, little metal hooks holding it together. When you try to pose it in certain directions, the arms come right back down. You can't just like, I'm just going to have his arms sticking straight out. No, you're not. It's going to come back down. It's It seems kind of loose. It seems kind of cheap. Um, although... They're not gonna break. They're not. They're not easy to break. Um, but you know what? If you if you pose them around too much, maybe an arm comes detached and you have to restring it, which is a whole other pain in the ass ball of worms that you don't want to get into. But yeah, that is my one gripe with all these, and and we're gonna see it in every single one of the figures in this series. Um, but you know what? As far as sculpts are concerned, which is what we're fucking here for, the sculpt on that face for nineteen ninety nine, not a bad figure. All right, so here is Robin with removable mask. Again, same exact figure as he was the last time. Um, all we have here is just a removable mask. It All it is is a little pleather mask, a pl pleather domino mask with a couple of holes in it and a, an elastic band that wraps around the outside. If you're curious as to what the previous figure looked like, here is uh, Robin from before um, and we can line them up side by side and you can see that this is what they look like um, and you know what not the, the the best looking job in the world on this mask it looks kind of dumb when it's on um, the best thing about it is that you can take it off um, and there you go looks like Burt Ward hey that's awesome you've got him in the uh, oh, look his hand fucking came off uh, yeah, that's another thing about these if they get they can get loose and these hands and, and feet will pop off and you've got just a little ball joint underneath it. Um, but look at that, he's pretty cool without the mask on there. Um, let's hope that the Batman with the removable cowl looks a little better. All right, so here we have the Mad Hatter in all of his Mad Hattery glory. 
Not a bad figure as far as, you know, first glance and for display, not too shabby. But again, uh, the problem comes with the body. Um, when you're trying to pose him, again, his hat's gonna fucking pop right off. Um, and then when you try to, like, his body's like, it came in a twist. Um, like, he's, he wants to lean to this, this side. And when you try to, to move him back, the body goes back. You know why? Because there's rubber bands inside this fucking figure. Instead of making an action figure with some ball joints, um, spending the extra couple bucks to give us some ball joints on the figure, um, we could do that. You know what? Still, no fucking socks he's wearing these little spat shoes and and no fucking socks how was he don goddamn johnson like oh my god it's like with the figures again that they didn't necessarily care about not the joker not the penguin not the riddler not ricky martell not the road Warriors, not the Freebird, not the road Warriors. Um, when it comes to not the Batman, it's characters like this, like the Mad Hatter. Um, and they're like, oh, you know what? We'll just put one together. We'll do pretty good on the sculpt. The sculpt looks nice. But hey, can, can he even fucking hold? Like his hat barely balances on his head. If you move him even slightly, the, the hat just comes popping off. You can't keep it on. You can't strap it onto his head in any way or stick it on there. It just rests like sort of nicely on the head. Yes, I know that these are collectible figures and they're not necessarily made um, for for that sort of uh, that sort of angle. But at the end of the day, it's like, God damn it, just fucking make the figures a little bit better. And, uh, and, and throughout the whole line, so I can take a look at any of these figures. If I did happen upon them, if, I, if Batman wasn't the first figure I saw, if I happened upon one of these things loose and I was just looking at it, I might think the whole line is fucking garbage. Um, but to this, it's not so bad. It looks okay. Um, again, the fucking hat won't stay on. Uh, the limbs aren't, don't have necessarily the same problem as we did with, uh, with the goddamn egghead. Um, at least we have sleeves that go all the way down on this. He's not wearing just a fucking biker vest underneath his fucking coat here. Um, nice little three-piece suit. Looks pretty good. Um, but at the end of the day, were you probably were you gonna get the Mad Hatter? And, unless you were gonna get every single figure in the line, probably not. And so finally, we have Cliff Robertson as Shame um, in his Wild West gear what a cool looking figure um if it wasn't for these shitty bodies um this thing would be fucking would be a one plus um i really like this figure despite the fact that it's really difficult to pose and that if you put his hat on it just wants to pop right off of his head and then you just wiggle him a little bit and it pops off um so the hat won't fucking stay on his head um, you might have to fucking, you know, put some stick em or, or something on there to glue it on. And uh, th that's, a, that's a minus in my book. Um, but other than that, um, and other than the fact that it's, he's got a figures toy company body, and if you want to have him stick the gun straight out like this, he can't. You can't. You can't. You might have to, like, figure out some sort of way to, uh, you know, maneuver the body to get them to pose correctly. You're not gonna get a lot of great poses out of these, even though they do have 14 points of articulation. Um, the articulation is limited due to the clothes and due to the, uh, the just the structure of the body. The, just being the uh, cheap, shitty fucking bill. Um, and, and I'll say that, you know what, even though I love Figures Toy Company and I love this line, um, you know what, these bodies are fucking cheap as shit. They could have made him better. They could have gave Shame fucking holdy hands so he could hold his goddamn pistols right and not look stupid when he was holding them. But on the plus side, the little undershirt looks great. His little scarf looks great. His uh, vest is great. The colors really pop. They're really awesome. The fringe on his jacket is fantastic. He's got little cowboy boots. Um, he has holsters that hold his guns that are made out of pleather, a pleather belt with a metal buckle. This thing is actually, despite, despite all the minuses, is a pretty good figure. Um, it's pretty good figure. God damn it, with the fucking hat. Um, the, if it's a pretty good figure as far as display is concerned. If you can get him to keep his fucking hat on, uh, but not bad. Cliff Robinson looks a lot like who it's supposed to be. It's a great sculpt. 
And if the and I have nothing against the sculpts on these figures. These are all great sculpts. They look pretty much exactly like who they're supposed to be. That that's one thing that they did get right. The sleeves look like they go all the way down. Um, the print looks exactly like the print on the shirt from the TV show. This looks just like the character. It would be unmistakable if you if you were familiar with the character on the show. Um, it would be unmistakable as to who this is supposed to be. This is a great figure, and to me, to me, to Dan Classic, this is the must-have of Series 3 would be shame. So at the end of the day, Series 3 is pretty darn good. Um, pretty much... One out of four figures would have been the ones that would have been a must-have for me. But for you, who knows? Maybe you wanted all these characters. Maybe you wanted to get all the villains and you could skip this Batman and Robin that we had in the series. Maybe you didn't get a Batman or a Robin initially and you wanted to and you want and you were prefer. You prefer the one with the removable with the removable mask. I don't know why you would. Uh, it's kind of crap. But at the end of the day, it's not a bad offering, and for $19.99 a figure, I'll still say these are worth the money.